Okay, hello, it's Amethyst Mahoney of the Heart and Soul Community, and I am here today with Rose Holly Perry. Now, in your emails, I've just been saying, Rose, is it Holly or Howley? Like, it's I, Holly. Not, it's Holly. Holly. Okay, so for your deck, am I am I hyphenating that, or am I just putting... Yes, I did get married, and I hyphenated okay. my name. <laughs> okay. But I haven't done a really good job of, like, really spreading it out. Um yet it's all the official official paperwork is there but um i still have some email stuff that is just rose holly and stuff i've been rose holly for a long time yeah <laughs> when, I, when i married my husband i actually i was i was getting divorced and i wanted a new last name and so my husband we had been friends for a while and we were dating at the time and he goes well why don't you just take my last name and i was just going to do something you know, random like King or whatever. And so I was like, fine. So I went ahead and, and did his last name. And then when we got married, they wouldn't file the paperwork because they kept saying that my maiden name was his last name and they needed my maiden name. <laughs> it took three months and four trips to the courthouse. And see, I'm glad you can laugh about this. So we'll talk about laughing today. And <laughs> how therapeutic that is when you want to Bring a government worker's neck, not that you know, mm -hmm. they can help it. I Been did there. government kind of government work, me so, too. Anyway. <laughs> me too, <laughs> yeah. So, we all have our little horror stories on both sides of the fence on that one. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so, today we're going to be talking about the Divine Love um, Oracle deck. And if you haven't gotten yours yet, you can pick up your deck in the Indiegogo campaign, it is at bit.ly/slash divine oracle. We are looking for 333 angel sponsors at the $33 level or more. And with that, you will get your pin, your deck. You'll get your angel pin. You will get a full color PDF guide with uh, copies of the cards, as well as information about each card and links to all of the interviews with the people who drew the card, which I've never seen anyone do that. So um, that's going to be a, a really, really big deal. <laughs> get a little Oops. song and dance. <laughs> and then you also get invited to a class with me in January where we will clear the energy of your deck, set your intentions for the year, look at spreads that you can use uh, to connect with your deck and how to connect to your intuition and use the cards. And you'll even get an opportunity to get a reading with me live in the class. So all of that for a minimum sponsorship at the angel level of $33 or above. So definitely make sure you go over and get your deck. And so throughout the month of October, while we're running the campaign, I'm doing interviews with all of the people who contributed artwork to the deck and cards to the deck. And um, if you didn't know yet, I'll just tell you, we've had 40 people uh, I got together to each contribute one card to the deck. So this really is a community deck. And Rose contributed the card for laugh. Um, so laughter, laughing, <laughs> that kind of thing. And um, you actually had three different concepts for your card. And um, I went with the one with the clouds. Ah. I think, you know, with the whole idea of divine love, we do have that piece of our, uh, you know, divinity within us, but I also really wanted to help people refocus on the fact that divinity is also outside of ourselves. And I think sometimes in the spiritual community, we get really focused on going inside. And I really want to help people reground and reconnect to the world outside of themselves. So um, I like that whole idea of, you know, the, the, clouds and um, there was a lot of light coming down and, and everything like that. Um, so tell me a little bit about, uh, you can start with yourself if you'd like to, or we can cover that at the end, but we do want to get to who you are and what you do and how you help people. And then also what your inspiration was for the card and how you feel that it, uh, you know, contributes to the concept of divine love. I'm just going to ask you all eight questions at once. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Because <laughs> you are in government and you can handle it. <laughs> I, I totally can. Um, so I'm I'm a transformational mentor for creative people. Um, I started this journey 
as a highly productive person, kind of trying to find my creativity. And I married a very creative person who was very effective, but still had pieces that of his life that were kind of, you know, in that artistic sense where you're like, oh, yeah, you're an artist. You're not. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Which after is the same thing we run into in the spiritual communities, like not the most grounded in reality kind of things going on sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. And so I am so inspired because I get to play in that creative realm that I'm just learning about, really. And I get to help people who are creative actually get stuff out in the world and feel like they're making progress. And so um, when I saw your card come up, which was really late, I somehow missed it. I was just kind of like, this would be a great place for me to play. And then when you're like, and you have laugh, and I was like, oh, that is so perfect. Because that's actually how I roll through the world. Like that whole, if if I don't laugh, I'm gonna cry thing, I use all the time. Like I totally try to find the humor and stuff. You know, a lot of times it's it's immensely funny, the, the stuff that, the universe throws at you if you can choose to make it that way you know if you can find the humor instead of the stress a lot of it's funny <laughs> a lot of it is like yeah. i cannot believe this is happening and even the good stuff is like sometimes it's just like that's amazing that the universe could bring all those pieces together right here right now so i just thought it was a really you know i was I was moved. My fingers typed before I could think. You emailed me right away. And then you were like, this is the card I have left. And I was like, that is absolutely <laughs> perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. And it seems like everything with this deck has been happening that way. You know, like some something happens if someone suddenly drops off, then there's someone right there. And that's the perfect card for them to to take up the slack. So um, everything with this deck has been really perfect. And um, thanks for the applause. Um, I'm not sure how to say your name, if it's Medjean or Medjean, but Miss Eugene, how about that? I used to live near Eugene in Oregon. Um, not her, but the, the city. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really funny because so this deck, I've talked to a couple of people who have done co-creation decks. Um, they're not, there are not very many out there at all. But the people I have talked to, it has taken an average of 18 months to put it together. This deck has come together in pretty much one month. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it's time. I'm going to start talking to people. Um, you know, I, I said it was time to do it. And then I kind of sat on it for a week or two and kind of talked to, you know, a couple of really close friends about it. But when I really got that push, like it's time. It was just four weeks later. I've got, um, I think, 38 of the cards back now out of 40. So in one month, it's like, oh, my God, it's completely unheard of. I've been telling people in the tarot community, and they're like, you're full of it. Like, how long have you really been working on this? <laughs> I'm like, no, six weeks, you know, technically. But, yeah, one month. And so now we're doing the Indiegogo campaign where you can get your deck um, at bit.ly slash divine oracle. Um, so excited about this whole thing. Um, so how does your concept, I, I think you kind of touched on it, but is there anything else you want to say about how your concept of laugh and laughing fits in with, um, with divine love or anything else you want to talk about that? Yeah, well, when I when I was making the card, um, I'm just stepping into this world as a, as you might be able to tell that whole, you know, scientific get things done kind of brain um, for, you know, 40 years. And so um, I have been doing a lot of work with energy this year and um, calling kind of universal energy and earth energy. And those rays that you were talking about are how I kind of see that energy flowing. So the blue is always my earth energy and the pink is my universal energy. And I wanted people to be able to feel that emanating from this very, you know, anyone laughing face. Mm -hmm. um, so the laughter, 
a, kind of allows you to open up. You know, fear makes you close down and laughter makes you kind of open up. You know, we laugh like this, you know, this right. is fear and this is laughter. And when we're open, the universe can bring us many more things. And when we're tight and we're saying, oh, it's, you know, it's got to take 18 months. And you're like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> like 18 months? Like, I rebranded, bought a house, and created a whole Oracle deck this month. Like, I've got 17 months off. What am I going to do? <laughs> so when, you know, I wanted that open feeling of, of, you know, like, what does it feel like to, you know, to open up again? Um, and some of us have lost that. I know um, I had someone kind of call me out on the fact that I used to be shy. Um, and I went back and looked and talked to my mom and it, I actually only was shy for about two years. And I realized it was those middle school years where sometimes it's really easy to forget that there's a difference between laughing at and laughing with. And mm -hmm. all of a sudden, every kind of laughter became laughing at. And I just got smaller and smaller because I didn't want anyone to laugh at me. Um, and it took me a long time to be like, hey, sometimes we're just we're just laughing. We're getting we're we're allowing the humor of the situation. We're allowing us ourselves to open back up to possibilities. We're allowing this to be like, well, this is funny. What am I going to do now? <laughs> um, and I wanted I wanted that to show in my card, like the power of opening back up and finding humor and being open to the possibilities. So that's awesome. that's where awesome. thank you so much yay so um we can do more um maybe a longer interview later or another blog post because it sounds like you've got a whole lot more that that would be great to share about this card but this is just a 10 to 15 minute Absolutely. quick get to know you today and my computer is about to die as well so i want to make sure we get done before it's, <laughs> it's like warning your computer's dying i'm like oh i guess i'm i'm done for the day We're done um <laughs> So we'll get back together again and maybe do a, a longer um, feature interview with you if you'd like to do that. Absolutely. Anytime, Amethyst. That would be great. Um, and we'll see. So maybe you'll be in black and white. Maybe you'll be in color. It'll be a surprise. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick before we go, um, you can type in your website in the comment section below so that people can find out where they can get to know you. And just really, really quick, um, what would uh, you say that you help people do specifically? I know I'm asking you to type and think at the same time. <laughs> uh, I help people get out of their everyday rut and be more creative and start to build the life that they really want to live. Excellent. And with that laughter, which Indeed. is so important. <laughs> Okay, thank you everybody for joining us today. And if you haven't picked up your Divine Love Oracle deck, you can do that over at the Indiegogo campaign. It is bit.ly slash divine oracle. My name is Amethyst Mahoney of the Heart and Soul community. Thank you.